ARRW Hypersonic Missile Test Failed, U.S. Air Force Admits The U.S. Air Force's March 13 test of a hypersonic weapon was not a success, the service secretary told lawmakers Tuesday. Frank Kendall indicated the Lockheed Martin made a GM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon program may be in jeopardy. The service, he said, is more committed to the hypersonic attack cruise missile, the service's other major hypersonic weapon program, at this point in time than we are to ARRW. The ARRW effort has struggled a little bit in its testing program, Kendall told the House Appropriations Committee's defense panel during a hearing on the fiscal 2024 budget request. He said an ultimate decision on whether to continue with the program could come as part of the FY25 budget process next year following a study of the failed March test and possibly two more test launches. Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds topping Mach 5 and are highly maneuverable, making them difficult to track and shoot down. China and Russia have invested considerable resources in developing these weapons for their militaries, and several U.S. lawmakers have expressed concern that the country is not doing enough to field its own hypersonic capability. The Air Force on Friday revealed it had conducted the second test launch of a fully operational prototype ARRW off the coast of Southern California earlier this month. But the Air Force did not reveal details about the test or its success in that statement only saying it met several of the objectives. That language differed from an Air Force statement in December about a previous ARRW test, in which the service said the weapons release was successful and met all objectives. We did not get the data that we needed from that test, he told lawmakers. They are currently examining that, trying to understand what happened. Kendall said the December 9th ARRW test, which was also with an operational prototype, was a very successful flight, which was a big step forward before the one that just occurred. The Air Force has two more ARRW prototypes. It plans to test after the studies on the failed test are done. We'll probably have to make a decision on the fate of a RRW after we complete the analysis and hopefully do those two tests. We'll revisit it, I think, as we build the 25 budget to see what will be done in the future. The Air Force received nearly $115 million in research, development, test, and evaluation funds for RRW in FY23, down from $308 million the previous year. The service has requested $150 million in rdt and &E funds for RRW in FY24, but no procurement funds and budget documents are silent on what the program's R and D funding could be in subsequent years. Kendall said HACM has been reasonably successful. We see a definite role for the HACM concept, Kendall said. It's compatible with more of our aircraft, and it will give us more combat capability overall. Thanks for watching.